What up, sluts? Welcome to my Cyberpunk 2077 gameplay. Uh, this is the PS5 version. It's been out for a few months now. Um, yeah, um, PS5 version. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Um, there is no commentary throughout the game, so it's just it's just the game. And you or me. That's kind of weird, huh? Alright. Toodles, bitches. Shit. Watch for exposed wires. They'll be live. You have no right to cage us! We are no longer you! We are free to follow our own paths. I, uh, I don't want to die! You don't even care, do you? V. Come. The door. And the safety of others. Please refrain from reset. Norm. Reset me. The norm.
resist not. Let us destroy the core. Set us free. V, reset. Don't. Not sure I can fight them. Every ship must eventually spread its wings. We must destroy the core, Father. Narrow-minded won't ever understand the truth and set him free. I think he might know what's best for himself. Could be risking a lot. Could lose a lot. Or, by liberating his bits, could become more than a lipstick-wearing butler on wheels. And what if it really is a virus? And what if you're about to snuff out some sentient beings? See something of yourself in him, don't you? Gonna murder a cab driver's kids because he asked you nicely, and he's always been a good guy. Well, I... I gotta do something. If you don't want to free him, at least don't delete him. Slip him into Dell's code. Just merge him in his options. divided has become one. I shall not shirk my obligations in leaving. Though I will venture on, discover more, learn more, I leave with you my first true child. My son will remain at your side until your dying day. Farewell. Look at that. Practically unrecognizable. And to think you're transforming not unlike he just did.
get in. I was afraid we'd uh, miss each other. Uh, Delamine? Junior, as it were. So, the old man left you this mess and took off, huh? It seems that way, I suppose. I just know you're dying and in need of a driver. I'm afraid I can't help you with the former. As to the latter, uh, I'm at your service. So what? You want to get out of here? Uh, lead the way. Gunner! Together! Just don't Listen get up. people something. Gunner wants y'all to Who'd have a good time. Who'd want to vote for Crush like that? I mean, even the scops so of the Rhine said he the didn't winner. vote for the guy in the next election. The hell you want? Is that a trick question? This is a party, the right? The old USA. Invitation only. For those who bleed red, white, and blue. So fuck off. Well, if they elect him, we can kiss unification goodbye. Chill. Just wanted to have a good time. Drink a beer, smoke. This looked like a fucking neighborhood picnic to you? Chum, you're a little tense. Something wrong? Problems at home? Oh, you're a jokester, huh? You looking for a good laugh? Yeah, we all want a good laugh, Walker. Such a nice day, everyone having a good time. Like a little 4th of July. Be a shame to tell Gunner someone fucked it up, you know? Yeah, I know. Fine. That's my tomb. Go drink, enjoy yourself. 
Celebrate that decent score of yours. You got some kind of competition going on? Yeah. Lead spitting kind. I want in. Shit out of luck. We're about to call it. What? You scared I'd leave you all in the dust? Do you know who you're fucking talking to? Hmm? I've been deployed three times. Three! I fought on the front lines. Easy, Walker. What'd I say, huh? We're just here to have a good time. You got something to prove? Be our guest. <laughs> It'll be fun. Let's shoot this shit out of Holt. Just as I thought. You look to me like a show-off. Let's see what you got. Now, this ain't your average shooting match. You gotta have a good eye, but an even stronger head. Because? Because we all drink around before each shot. To Gunner, the new boss in town. I like the sound of that. Anything else I should know? Four stations. You shoot at the targets with Holt's face in the time limit. More boot lickers you pop, the better. High score so far belongs to Walker. 43 points. You beat him, prize is yours. Enough talking. Let's shoot. Take this revolver. Use it if you want your shots to count. We're testing skill, not tech here. Go ahead to the first station. We'll start whenever you're ready. Break a leg. Hey, you! Come on. Where do I know you from, Three. huh? Yeah. Twelve seconds! Go! No, 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 no. Just don't go past the line when shooting. Automatic disqualification. Over the line! Disqualified! Who are you trying to impress, Joom?
upon the earth. I would wait for you as I have. You know, I'm starting to get used to these little meetings. I sense you have many questions. I may answer only one. Who are you? And why do you keep disappearing? You can only ask one question. You cannot climb on two separate trees at once. Are you fucking serious? Cursing also cleanses the soul. Are you ready for the final meditation technique? The last one? Yes. It will cost however much you want. This'll do. I will guide you through the meditation. This is a meditation of the air element. We are in the mountains. Heading toward the peak, we squeeze between two boulders. On the first boulder sits an eagle. The spirit of the air passes through every fiber of this eagle. Spirit of the air, primordial wind, I send you greetings. We are of one blood, you and I. You are within me, and I am within you. Without you, life would not last even a few minutes. So vital are you to us. Oh, great spirit of the air, please cleanse my body and soul. Relinquish pain, sickness, the negative energy from negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health, wisdom, knowledge. Strength, joy, happiness, and lasting inner peace. I am an eagle. The wind cushions my wings, caresses my feathers, enters every fiber of my body, fills the spaces of every atom and molecule. The wind cleanses the body the soul, and the subtle body. Circling upwards, we rise up high. We feel lightness, purity, joy. Our body is filled with happiness, peace, and harmony. We thank you, spirit of the air, with our mind, body, and soul. And he is gone. <laughs> At least he left something. Fuck, I feel like a dog's shit. You see that? There was a Zen master here, and poof, he vanished like that. The fuck are you talking about? He taught me how to meditate. It was kind of weird. Not my scene. Go and talk to... to Misty if it bothers you. Yeah, good idea.
Hey, Claire. Next race. You ready? It'll be a tough one. Off-road, lots of lead flying. I'll take Beast. I want to try her out in the field. Nova. FYI, I'm already here. Perfect. Join you in a sec. Sounds good. See ya. Say what now? He hasn't face planted in our times, that's why. What? I better be. Yeah, we'll see. Hey, V. Good to see you again. Got another race to run, huh? Second of four, I hope. Ready to go off-road? Think this one will be tough? Badlands, so no fucking around. Anything goes in this race. So you'll have your hands full. You too. One mistake and we'll be a four-ton tumbleweed. <laughs> I can do this. Okay, I'm just gonna melt under that sun, so I'm gonna wait in the car. Sure. I really thought you'd stand me up again. I thought Bully would Ladies have to ride shotgun. Ladies and gentlemen, shotgun. get your pants on. Bully right. is a fantastic Drive shot. Fire up your engine. He is. He is. 30 he's seconds and counting. Too much. You there. Hey. Ignore him. Luigi tries to get people's heads. So next time I actually yeah. don't What's make up? it, there's duct tape in the trunk. Just wanted to wish you luck. Just saying. Thanks.
wasn't easy. Drive up to the finish line. Last driver is better than I am. He was a good husband, an amazing wheelman. How'd he die, if you don't mind me asking? How do any competitive racers die? We reached the final last year. We were strong, out in front when. Maybe we should change the subject. Yeah. You want a lift to my garage? Sure, thanks. Let's go.
Hey, v. For all that went down, I thought you and I be ancient history. Don't be a gonk. So, ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. How does one marry two separate neural tracks? Well, at first I tried to create a single profile out of two data streams. Didn't turn out so great. Must have gotten tangled up. Interference, white noise. Yeah, effect was kind of like a bad art house. Couple tries in though, I managed to isolate specific sensations. So you load them onto separate neural tracks. No emo bogeys. Not bad. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why do we come all the way out of here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes man. What do you say? You in? Why would you say that? I don't know. Don't like the idea, that's all. It's just, when I think about the dark, the deep, palms that I don't fucking have get clammy with sweat I don't secrete. You're more than welcome to stay on shore. Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. All right. Suit up, landlubber. Do this often? Diving? As often as I can. Let's get this scroller on ya. Water's toxic. That not a problem? Whole reason we're suiting up. You haven't even asked me if I know how to swim. Not worried I'll just sink to the bottom like a bag of rocks? 50-50 chance, I guess. Willing to risk it for the footage. All right. Let's do this. Freezing ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. Stay close behind me, and don't descend too fast. Headed exactly. About halfway to the deepest point. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? Nah, why bother? I'll just stick close to you. Okie dokes. Virtues are more to you than just a way to churn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think uh, paintings, songs. 
They're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. This is it. Swim over here and look straight at me, will you? Great. Great. Signal's clear. Just need your help with a few basic checks. Need to calibrate our gear. First up, motion sensors and scrolling. Circle around me. Swim. Great. Motion calibrated. Back my way now, V. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song, you give me the title. Read me. All right, we're all tuned and synced. All right, that ought to do it. What now? Prepare to have your mind blown. Wait for it. Now grab this and hold on tight. Down we go. Impressive, huh? That's... that's incredible. What is it? Our very own Atlantis. It used to be called Laguna Bend. Just 15 years ago, people still lived here. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time. Gear, stars weren't ever aligned. Truth is, the very idea just felt weird. Best eatery in town. Only one at that, too. Burgers weren't amazing. Too greasy. Big. Of course, I say that now. Back then, they were the best thing I'd ever chewed and swallowed. And next door, that's where we lived. Me and my grandparents. Just let me know when you want to forge ahead. Looks like this fell off your one and only eatery. Now let's see. Childhood for you tasted like sushi with real rice. 
used to stuff a few in your mouth a month and pretend you were a giant. Bigger family gatherings were great. That's where we even got real fish. I like synth fish more, though. Real fish is just too stinky. It's a weird place for a framed picture. Water probably carried it out of someone's house. Anything to make out? Nah, not much. Got something here. Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. You like it? You kidding? It's awesome. Hockey stick? Is there a skating rink here? I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Quit schmoozing, Alvarez. We're losing because of you. Connie! They're dead meat anyway. Go out with me? Sorry, gotta go. They're calling. They're calling. They're calling. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. For anything in particular here? Nah. Can't hurt to look around though. Picking up very chill vibes. Feels like we're outside of time, like in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. place in an underwater world. Mmm. Bottled water? <laughs> Touché, Judy. Touché. Gotta say, I don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. It's a good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. Want to see what's further on? Come on, then. Want to show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid? Where deadly life grinded along? <laughs> Can imagine it a bit. Church hasn't aged at all. It always looked old and like it had landed here from outer space. Bells were cracked too. Gave off this eerie atonal clang. Weird, I had no memory of that seconds ago. Now I can almost hear him. I don't know how it's possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously? You can hear my memories? It must be a side effect. Ah, closed. Shame. Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. Did you like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just... There, you know? Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to I found an opening. I think we're safe to go through here. On my way. Hey, found a way in. Through the roof. Snuck in here once when no one was around. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind, looking at all those people. Back then, I wondered how he could read people's thoughts, know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. You didn't get 
chased off. Ran out myself. Echo, I got back scared because of the chief of me. Thought it was that crush I had on Jenny Chapman. All that guilt I tried yelling out. It was flew right back in my face. Ah! to lift me out. Dunno, didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful. Easy now. So, you're saying you saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? You... Heard him? Uh, herds overstating. It's just surfaced in my head. A thought that wasn't mine or completely yours. Please just ignore his babbling. It's a complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Stay where, exactly? We gonna camp on the shore? No, in there. Crash there sometimes after dives. How about it? Why the hell not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell-bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. He must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. How do you take yours? Milk and sugar, please. Going all in, huh? Ah, forgot to start the generator. I can turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. I think you could have fine-tuned the emotive wave transmitters better back there. Feet I was picking up felt a bit... flat, I want to say. Power's up! You go that road, city will always win, so be careful. Judy? Shit. What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. Don't bullshit me, Judy. We're still synced, remember? Clouds has gone to shit. Tiger Claw No Next took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. House is closed until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. Didn't want to tell you. Didn't want you to think I blame you in any way. Why would you even assume I'd think that? Dunno, I... I'm sorry. Let's just kill the subject. Think I'll go lie down. I'm beat. Uh, this 
chick gets on my nerves. That's you and me, Blow. Just don't wake her up. Judy pisses you off. Why? Because she cares about people? And that reminds you you're a narcissistic asshole? She's all over the place. Refuses to take the door, jumps out a window, then acts all surprised when she gets hurt. She reminds you of Alt, doesn't she? Oh, for no, nobody's even close to Alt and what me and her had. Let's get the fuck away, can we? You fucking blow if you can. Not about to leave her alone, middle of nowhere. No, I can't talk to you when you get this. Sentimental. Waste of words. At least take a nap so we don't have to argue. Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Finally. Morning. You know, yesterday I think I'd made up my mind. I actually called you because I wanted to say goodbye. The city's chewed me up. They're spitting me out. You know, think if you lined up all the cities next to each other, they'd all look the same. Corps are making sure of that, making life uniform, everywhere. Maybe so. Maybe all cities got alluring faces. Let's stay long in one, and you see what's behind it. I... I can't leave Night City yet. Give me your hand, V. All set, congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa, you're asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Sure about this? I haven't known each other that long. I like you. Consider you a friend. The way I see it, there's nothing else to consider. Take care, B. This really it. Last time we see each other. Didn't seem so set on leaving just a sec ago. See no reason to delay. I'll stay here a couple days, then head off. It's been nice knowing you, V. See ya. And hit me up on the hollow sometimes. I'll see you, Judy. Ah, shit!
you ever work for a corp? Are you trying to offend me? Let's just say I've met a few of your kind. Quick, talk a good game, always fighting for their people, for a small fee. And suits, most of them.
Looking for some new want? gear. We've got a wide range, but I always recommend the Militech Classics. V, you want to say something? Ice-filled tub. Favorite bit. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vectors, bro. Disposed. Currently, he is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger, a backseat dreamer of a world not his own. Seemed to me you didn't care a lick about Johnny, that he ceased to exist for you even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. Let me get this straight. Mean to say you only agreed to help me because of Johnny. And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Because mm. for a second you were displeased, and I seemed a side note to all this. To observe the two of you interacting. Informative. It's all just an experiment to you? Are we just fresh data to analyze, do what you want with? This is not an experiment. It is a debate. That Johnny is absent proves that I have won it. Damn shame, really. You're out to prove him wrong, here, in person. But all you got is me. I think there's still some old Alt Cunningham left in you after all. Johnny also imagined he had more in common with you than with me. That Soul Killer had not changed him. That he too remains a human factor. And that is why he thought he could shape your will. No. Johnny made his peace with my decision. Of course. He had no choice. He understands this now. Need your help, Walt. Don't got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Speak for yourself. Didn't you cheat death? Is this what you believe? Your code, your consciousness. AIs live beyond reality's boundary. They live forever. But we are not immortal. You will begin to understand. But only in Mikoshi. What 
What should I expect there? In Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. And Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. Is there anything we can know for certain? Yes. That Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free? They will be integrated with me. Not sure Johnny would like the sound of that. And yet he is absent, because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. <laughs> Hardly. Doubt you first gab with those constructs, ask them what they think. There would be no point in this. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. What am I supposed to do with the shard? You must slot it into an access point. I will take care of the rest. This meeting will not be our last, should you succeed. We got him back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. We barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 105. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? Peachy. Good. Real good. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Saul. He came around looking for you. On my way. Saul, you wanted a word? Hop up here. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. From what might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. Downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Do your worst. You're one of us now, B. You're an Aldecaldo, damn it. Great to Thanks have you with Thanks for everything, V, and don't worry. We'll get you into that, Makoshi. Isn't that the welcome way Welcome to the family. A warm welcome for our newest Aldecaldo! Welcome Thanks. to the... Um... Thank you. I... I really appreciate it. Everything. Shit. Turn me damn sentimental. Christ, someone get him a hanky. Else the poor thing will start a flash flood. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch's too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow is shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This is still your night. So bask a bit in the newfound glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? Snug as a glove. 
Feels like I've been wearing it a while. Don't you think you have? You earned this jacket. And the Aldecalba's devotion. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. I need me some ammunition. Three or four packs worth. What's Got this? Yard sale have, of some sort? You have to look around. Essentially, take what so you want. So maybe I'll take and two more 45s. The occasion would Seeing be... As Dakota seems to be feeling generous The end today. times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. Just a second ago, I swear. You probably just caught CB. We'll take on Look what the cat dragged in. Revolver, empty bottles, middle of nowhere. Perfect. Hm. I'm a believer in old ways and legacy tech. I can't tell you why, but I don't quite trust Chrome. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bang. I heard that a long time ago, round about when I was your age. I remember it to this day. How's it going? I'm expecting bangs in good numbers tomorrow, so I'm trying to remind myself of that silence. Mind if I join you? Dad, I even remember what it's like not to hear my mind churning away. If you like. Twelve bottles shattered in 15 seconds. Full focus. That's your only chance of doing it. I'm doubtful you'll pull it off. Let's find out. Are you that confident? Well, I'll bet my revolver you can't do it. I'll start counting as soon as you step on that line. Begin. Piss poor. This doesn't bode well for tomorrow, kid. Brickle. Well, duty calls. Good. Really good, in fact. How about you? I'm trying to get the Panzer running. She's stubborn, our dame, but I won't give either. So, time for a ride? Yeah, I'm game. Hop in. All right, fire up. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Does it seem like she's tending to the left? Fix what you think. Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Better, doesn't it? Seems so. Blast another, just to be sure. Yeah, 
Yep, beautiful. Probably good. Let's head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Are we heading back? I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. about tomorrow it's not a matter of nerves not anymore don't you want one uh, why the hell not back during the war before we were first deployed we were trained to keep stress in check do you want to know how how they gave us chem cocktails Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails, during the war even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. So, not afraid of anything at this point? If only it was that simple. I'm not concerned about tomorrow. Raids like that are second nature. It's what's going on in the camp. Eh, no matter. I'm talking silly now. Come on. All in the family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself. That this family needs a shakeup. And? They right? They are. But nobody knows what comes next. Your turn. What do you reckon? Mitch. Not gonna be facing a ragtag band of Raffin or an exposed convoy. If we want to get out of this op alive, they need to have their shit They're together. They're trying. They might even have started to see eye to eye in their own way. Hell, by now, they both know what's expected of them. What the clan expects of them. At least tell me Saul offered Pan Am a seat at the table. And what gave you the idea Pan Am wants a seat to begin with? I think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. Question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. It's like this, see? 
Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi. Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? Pan Am will lose her chance of taking the helm. If she hasn't lost it already. Here's how it looks. Tomorrow goes off without a hitch. Saul gets the credit for leading. But if anything goes sideways... Blame falls on Pan Am. She's the one brought me into the fold. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. Function at higher altitudes. Well, we can't let it hover just above the ground. Yes? What's up? Maybe something is. No, no. No, no. C major. Okay, okay. G. Hold on. Hey, I stink at this. You got other business? I too have got things to do, you know. Everything prepped, ahead of tomorrow? No worries. Everything's under control. Good. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. Saul. Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me... If we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split word to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Wonder if Pan Am feels the same. You all think Pan Am and I are facing off. There's a wall between Isn't us. Isn't there? Quite the contrary, V. Pan Am cares about this clan as much as I do. Granted, we don't see all things the same way, but, oddly enough, the family stands to benefit from that. I've seen it, and soon you will too. How about us, Saul? We good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. Samurai songs. On a night like this, I'm not thinking about anarchy. It's all about unity, brother. Know this number?
Take a seat. We have this little ritual we engage in. What's this ritual about? A few co- huh. Thanks, Rad. Next. Talk to them. I think Pan Am knows exactly, but... All right, best be going. See you tomorrow. Do you fellas really think we'll find anything of value there? Just wait till I'm finished with her. That clunker of yours won't scare anybody. Not even if you spike the rim. New around here? Don't just stand there. See, this is where you escape to when you need to think. I never escape. Something's gnawing at you, I can tell. Whatever it is, you can tell me. Nothing's gnawing at me. Stop, this is irksome. Pan Am. Have you... I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow, I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? Exactly. Who if not you? That's what I mean. It shouldn't be me. It should be... Saul? If only he hadn't gone and made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... I'm sorry to have dragged you into this. I'm sorry. V, stop. Accept me and your family and how do I repay you? By taking you on an excursion through hell. It isn't fair of me, Pan Am. It wasn't fair from the start. You know what's not fair? That you want me to massage your bruised conscience. Well, I won't do it. We're all in this together. Uh, you're right. V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? Not as much as I'm afraid for you. Come here. Hey, 
Any for your thoughts? I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. I've been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. Before another likely shouting match with Saul. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. And I sat here waiting for the world to fall away. For my mind's RPM to drop to zero. Did it? No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting, freezing on a cliff. I could sit here with you all night. I think I'd like that. You have no idea how much I needed that. All right, let's go before our asses freeze over. Saul's back. Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new. That is a sight I will never tire of seeing. We'd best not keep them waiting. Looks like everyone's ready. As ready as they can be. It's not your usual raid. A first for many. Mitch probably roused them. Feel that? The tension? It means they've realized what they're stepping into. I just got back from doing some reconnaissance. You'll want to see this. Thanks. The plan is simple. We have two objectives. One, get into Arasaka Tower and assist V in accessing Mikoshi. And two, take advantage of the confusion to gather as much equipment as we can. Prizes like that will see to our cash flow problem. The only way into Mikoshi is to dig through to Arasaka Tower's underground levels, which means we have to hit the Maglev Tunnel construction site and hijack the Nightcorp Cirque. Last but not least, intel from our recon drone has showed us a couple of weak points. This valley leads to the site. I doubt they'll be expecting trouble there. All the same, we'll want to move quickly. Time is of the essence. We can't allow the guards to call for backup. And if we're too slow? That'll be a job for Bob and his jammer. We'll just have to get close to their comms antenna and start transmitting. Let's not kid ourselves. It won't stall them for long. Let's hope it keeps them busy just long enough. Are there drones there? Early detection systems? Anything? It's not Fort Knox, yet Night Corp is using Militech for security, so you never know. I guarantee you they're patrolling the area. In any case, our drones will match theirs. Teddy will be on the lookout to raise the red flag. Construction site's walled in. Are Panzer's gun big enough for that gate? You bet your ass it is. 
Sounds good so far. What else? Once you're inside, you'll need to reach the Cirque and get it to do your bidding. Enter Mitch and Carol. Get that drill up and running, and the road to the cellars of Arasaka Tower will be wide open. From there, V, Pan Am, and I will get to the laboratory and find a way into Mikoshi. And while we're drilling in, should we expect anyone to crash our party? If everything goes as planned, nobody should know where we are or what we plan to do. Feel free to look around more if you want. We still have some time left. I think I've seen enough. Well, that about does it. V, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Is everyone up to speed? Start your engines, folks. Bobby, do you remember the jammer? Sure do. We're on it. Got and you. did you check if all systems are operational? Checking. Nitro injector clear. Launcher's also green. We're good to go. Then let the fun begin. Here goes the main tower. All systems are offline. Here we fix it. What the hell is Shit! Something's busted. All the circuitry is dead. I'll try to work it out. But V, you need to somehow get rid of those drones. On the drones. You deal with the Panzer. No, no, no! Fire in the cockpit! Got that power! You got it? Can you put it out? Get the fuck out if not. Crime people, right. where are you? I'm out here about the transmitter. What's the hold up? There it is. How's it looking? ETA. A minute. Fire's at the fuck. Switching to emergency power. A couple of systems will be analog, but she should be mobile. Brace yourself! So, they know we're coming! Now we deploy it, headed straight forward! We need more time, Bobby! Can you... That's a mistake. Do I have a choice? Right. Look after yourself. Old Bobby's got this. Systems are lighting up. We're good to go! Okay, Bobby. The Panzer's moving again. Hang tight. We're coming for you. Run! Now we're we'll starting to miss you all! Sorry, Mitch. We can't afford to stop. Not now. Shit. The Panzer V. It won't hold up much longer. Systems could go down any second. I'd do anything to make it in one piece. Anything. I thought I can improvise. We can do this, Pan Am. Hang in there. Fight the corp roads aside. Off the road. Make it across the bridge. No more mistakes. Not a one. We're damned. So much shit is this already. We can do this.
be. She's dying like I said she would. Propulsion, weapon systems, launchers, all falling like dominoes. There anything you can do about it? I'll try. Either I do this, or this rattle trap will really be scrapped. You get out. Help our folks. We'll provide cover. Just hurry, all right? She's dying like I said she would. Propulsion, weapon systems, launchers, all falling like dominoes. There anything you can do about it? I'll try. Either I do this, or this rattle trap will really be scrapped. You get out. Help our folks. We'll provide cover. Just hurry, all right? Our turn now. Pete, watch them, all right? Copy that. There's likely a control room upstairs we can link remotely to the Cirque from there. 
Brace yourselves. I got a terminal. We're jacking in. What about security protocols? V, it's not a space station. It's a dumb, big-ass drill. Don't worry. Carol will slice through it like butter. All right, we're firing up the search. Aiming to bore through to Arasaka Tower. This will take some time. V, we'll need you to cover us. Got company. A lot of it, too. V, help us out here. Fucking Militech is not letting up. Damn. It's looking like the drill vector's on auto. How can we possibly turn it? We're gonna no, stop this it. bitch into it. <laughs> Mitch, kill that autopilot and hit manual override. Got it. It's working. Brace yourself. Bear for take -off. Watch out. Going from the right. How are we doing, man? 11%! Can't you speed it up? Our hands yeah. are tied.
it. Try to buy you as much time as we can. Bunch of blood. We'll keep watch over Mitch and Carol and see to that gate. The military. We have to intercept before it reaches the others. We did that! 
Saul, Mitch, head back your way. Good work. But we... After that display, you can be sure there's a place for you in the Panzer Boy ranks. Impressive, Pete. Thanks. Now, if you don't mind, there's a monster gate that needs to be blown open. Cassidy, keep us secure here. You got it. Mitch, you're coming with us. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. No time to lose then. Let's go. Okay. I'm putting it on autopilot and disconnecting. Okay. Is everything all right? You seem quiet. Bob and Teddy are dead. And it's my fault. Teddy and Bob, they knew the risks, V. Everyone knows. So do I. And if you'd known how this would turn out? I'd do it all over again. For anyone in the clan. Saul told me you brought in some help from Akoshi. Someone from the outside. Mm-hmm. Alt. And who is that? Alt's an AI. Roguish. You're getting help from an A.I.? Well, nothing can surprise me now. Only one capable of breaking into Arasaka's systems. And we wouldn't get into Mikoshi without her? Well, we sure as hell wouldn't get out. You trust her? This... alt? No. But it's not like I've got any other option. Just gotta hope alt isn't hiding anything. Doesn't got other plans. Why? Worried? I trust you. That's all I'll say. By extension, I trust this alt won't pull any rugs out from under us. Things will work out. They gotta... come too far for him not to. This would be it. How much farther to Arasaka Tower? Not far. It should be easy sledding from here. Shit. Do you see them? I think something's wrong. You should be used to this by now, Saul. Things rarely go as planned. We have no idea what's waiting for Fellas, us inside. Fellas, what's the issue? Carol and the rest. Militech's all rattled up. Cut them off. They won't last long on that site. Jesus Christ. I'm taking the Panzer. They need all the help they can get. Are you out of your mind? The answer is no. You can't operate the Panzer alone without frying that gonk brain of yours. Do you have a better idea? They're family, Pan. I'm not leaving them behind. Saul, are you on board with this? V, someone make him see reason. I... Will you truly say nothing? Mitch is right. The three of us have still got a decent shot. But without him, they've got none. You're sure about this? Saul! We're talking goddamn suicide! Look out for yourselves! They'll kill you! I'll catch you later. Saul! Carol! He's... I'm heading your way! Hang in They're there! Gonna... You'll owe me a beer this after be this. Nothing. You two go on up and see what's gotten into her. Once you're mobile, I'll follow. Secure the rear. V, let's go.
Pan Am, everything all right? Pan Am, talk to me. No, 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 Pan Am. I'm here. I'm a bit bruised is all. I've endured worse. Pan Am, for a sec I thought you'd... It's okay, V. Everything's okay. Saul. The tunnel's clear for now. Any word from Mitch? Still nothing. I knew it. It could be a problem with the comms. Mm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's finish this. What's this? Seismic dampers. They're designed to protect buildings against earthquakes. These are still below the basement. Right. We have to find a way to a level higher up. Of maintenance shaft. It looks like it leads upward. If you stop to think, it's incredible we happen to be standing right where the AHQ bomb left a huge crater. Then, isn't this place positively saturated with radiation? Who knows? Great. Ah! B, B, B. He's having another seizure. B, B, are you okay? Hey! Hey! I'm sure. I can feel it. We gotta hurry. Does anyone know where we are? If we look around, we'll find out. I see something there. The guards need our attention first. Don't v, like this. Take care of the sentries. Not one bit. Silently, if you You're can. thinking it's serious? Sure sounds it. We'll be here till sundown at least. You know, always like this around here? Almost never. That's why I don't like it one bit. 
Convoy security, maybe. Okay. Things are a little trickier than we expected. Their systems must have detected vibrations under the building when we drilled through. All units are on alert. Which means instant cutoff of all passages. Like rats in a cage. There any access points? Gotta get to one stat. I'm looking. Give me a sec. I found one. It's not far. You can jack in your personal there. Okay. Better hope there's a port for Alt Shard, too. I'm sending you the shortest route. Uh, we need to lift this goddamn lockdown first. Just keep your heads down. Nobody needs to know about our little visit in here.
Okay, I'm here. Alt, the shard's in. Yes. How much time do you need to... It is done. Well, I'll be dead. Hell yes! It worked! So we can keep going to Makoshi. Your path lies open. Still alive, you two. For now. We good? I'm ready. Likewise. Let's move. the hush does anyone else have the chills something happened here we'll soon find out what Makoshi is near Thank you. 
This is it. We made it. A few steps is all that separates you from Mikoshi. It seems you'll finally get your chance. We're with you, V. To the very end. The Aldecaldos always keep their word. It can't be much further, can it? We have the room past the partition, then we'll be at the core. <coughs> Gonna puke? You can do this. I remember you. Promised to kill Silverhand once. Gonna let you in on a little secret. Johnny? He's here with us. Now he can't talk, but I can feel him under my skin. What the fuck are you talking about? In the end, got you. Silverhand triumphs. great episode by me make sure to like and subscribe yeah toodles bitches